We all know Midjourney makes amazing images, but if you want to use Midjourney a lot, you need to use a subscription. So today I will show you two tools that are totally free that can create amazing images as well. So you can create images that look like this or like this. So the first tool I want to show is Instant Art. So the nice thing about Instant Art is that it's all in the browser. You don't have to go to Discord or anything else. So once you go to instantart.io, you already get a lot of images here that show what it's capable of. You can see that it makes really pretty images. And the nice thing is you can see exactly what prompt people are using. It's using the white wolf, look at the sky, cinematic style, colorful, 8K, high detailed. And you get this nice image and you can even download it. So how you start is just by creating an account by pressing get started. After you log in, you arrive at the same page that you were before. And this is where I'm gonna get some inspiration because I like some images here so I can use that for my own prompts. I do think this image is very nice. It's like a city on sunset with a lot of neon. And here you can see the whole prompt that it used. All very nice things. So I will just copy this prompt. Uh, and after this, we go to generate. Here we have a couple of options. So first, describe your image. This is where you should include your prompt. So we have the one from before, panorama of a night city, lots of lanterns, tall buildings, river, bridge, fantasy style, neon ambience. And I think that's okay for me. I like photorealistic maybe there, and the rest is not necessary. And then here you can do negative prompts. So if you don't want to have some things, so if you don't like a certain color or you don't want cars or whatever, you can say don't, you can type cars and then you won't get any cars on your image. On the right here, you have the, some options for the image that you will create. First, you can choose the dimension. So you have a couple of landscape ones, a square and some portrait ones. I like to use the square normally. And then here you have the model ID and each one creates uh, pictures a bit different. So stable diffusion, that's the main model of what uh, Instant Art uses. But you can also go for Mid Journey V4. And this is like a stable diffusion fine-tuned model that uses images from Mid Journey to generate that kind of style. So in the bottom, you can have a guidance scale. This is for the amount of contrast. So if you keep it in the middle, it, uh, it will even out a nice picture. And here you have the image counts. So you can choose either one or up to three. So I have my description here, negative prompts I have ready. I'm gonna go just for the stable diffusion normal. And then you just press generate and you will have in your browser, your images generated. And while this is busy, I can show you that if you go to the page next to it, the my images, you will see what you created before. And I created these two before. I just went to my images and it closed the generation. So don't close this tab when you're still busy. So let me open the home page in another tab. And you can see that they really do a lot of different things. And you can go to the live feed where you can see the images that other people are making. It's just like you're in the Discord of Mid Journey and you see other people creating everything. And really a lot of nice styles. Here's some fantasy uh, light bulb. The instant art image is ready. So let's see what it created. And it looks nice, but it doesn't look so good. So let me download this one. It just looks unsharp and not finished. You see what it tried to do here. So this one is not amazing. And also what happens with instant art is there's a lot of loading time. But of course you can try a different uh, model. The same image of Panorama, it's very different. You see this ones were very colorful and these ones are they look more realistic, you know, and different, but also nice. The second tool is dreamlike.art. Even the homepage art looks amazing. How we are going to start with this is just the same. Get started in the right top. I can either continue with Google or continue with Discord. Here you have the studio. So in the bottom, you see one prompt that I already did. This is the prompt that I use. Futuristic, deformed, portugate, cold colors, light flare, cyber, technology demonstration, high quality. And I really got some nice images with this. And again, here you click on the image and on the right, you get the information uh, of the image of how it's, uh, which model it uses, what is the prompt, all that stuff. Here on the left, you can choose between three different models. So you have Diffusion 1, and the nice thing is here you see kind of what style you can get. 
Dreamlike Diffusion 1, Dreamlike Photo Real 2.0. So you see these really look real, like real images, and you have Stable Diffusion. For this tool, I like to use Dreamlike Diffusion. So I just go here, and if I press the settings, I have a couple of things. I can prioritize the prompt or prioritize creativity, number of images that we receive after prompt, and here you can choose the aspect ratio again. For this one, I'm gonna again get some inspiration from the instant art. So I go here, go to popular. I like this image, it's very gritty, city-like. Cyberpunk mod boss, perfect composition, beautiful, detailed. I'm just gonna copy this full prompt and I'm gonna plug it in in the AI art generator, dreamlike art. I'm just gonna paste it. And here you can see that this dream cost 4.6 credits. And here in the top, you can see my credits. You start with 50 with a new account. And after that, you get new credits every hour. So it is free, but sometimes you have to wait for new credits. And I'm just gonna press dream and see what it comes up with. So this is the image that I used. I used the same prompt as this one. And here you see you got something very different which actually seems better to the prompt because the prompt is the cyberpunk mob boss. And here you see someone small in the distance, but these ones actually look very nice. I, I can imagine this in the cyberpunk game. I like the first one and with the background, with the lights, it's, it's quite realistic. So I'm just gonna download this by this button. Asian girl, short hair in the city, Blade Runner, new retro wave. I like this one. I'm gonna paste it again. The creativity gonna be more in the middle. I'm gonna make four images and I'm gonna do a square image and dream. And you see that the credits were different because I make different amount of images. I copied the prompt from here and you see that it uses much more the background and it shows much more the background. That was with this one and the previous one as well. And here you see it's really focused on on the an Asian girl. So that is really different. I want a picture without the person in the middle, so I'm just gonna do City Blade Runner New Retro Wave. And I'm gonna do a different one, Stable Diffusion 1.5 to see how it looks. And here it cost 4.4 this time. And you see this time you got totally different style. So let me try this one as well, but then with Dreamlike Diffusion 1.0. And see here, I have the same prompt, but with two different models. And you see I got totally different images. Oh, they're all quite cool. I do really like this one with a person and with the background, all very Blade Runner. So this is how you can use instant art and dreamlike.art to create images just like Mid Journey, but totally for free. I have another video about Blue Willow, a Mid Journey-like Discord art generation app. You can watch that video right here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if it all worked out and if you enjoy this app.